the way. Shadur Sanders is Colorado. That's a general right there. That's a future NFL quarterback that has what it takes to lead a team. But I gotta say that to get ready for the more sombering news of Kormani McClain getting his first start today. Amazing, amazing. Only for Coach Prime to go nuts on the sidelines and take him out, bench him, first drive of the game. Let's talk about it, people. Now, in one of my last videos on Colorado, several of you commenters felt like I didn't know what I was talking about. You know, forget the fact that I brought you facts. I understand this hype train. It deals with a lot of emotions, less logic. It's not all of you, most of you understood. But some of you gotta kinda take a back seat with your emotions and once again, break this down. Mind you, I gotta say this. Man, I feel bad for the kid, yo. I really feel bad for Cormani. But let's dive deep. Okay, so Cormani gets his first start. And as you're watching the first drive, those of you that actually watched and are not waiting for the outcome to let your emotions do its thing. Those of you that watch the game, if you're watching the first drive over here, Cormani is starting, right? And the biggest problem that you see, Cormani is allowing the, the wide receiver to get the inside of him. And if you know anything about football, one thing coaches do not like specifically coaches that play defensive back before is that cornerback giving up the entire inside not like that and trust me them slant routes Cormani couldn't handle it against lowly Arizona State Arizona State yet again another like then their luster of a team gave Colorado problems because folks that defense ain't where it's at I've said this already and everybody was trying to bash in my head, but I'm telling you, it doesn't take a rocket science, a scientist to see this. The defense won't be there in a while, I'm sorry. I don't even think you're gonna get that much better in terms of the gap that's there with where they are, which is, I'm gonna say mediocre because I'm trying to be nice versus standard Pac-12 defense. Do you realize if they just had a basic defense that was good, don't even need to be great, they could do great things against teams in the Pac-12, but that's how bad the defense is. But Deion Sanders, y'all, he wasn't having it. Deion Sanders from the jump didn't like what he seen with Cormani, and he took that boy out. Now, is it fair to single out Cormani, which, you know, Prime addressed the entire defense, but having Cormani go out there to get his first start of his career, could you imagine how hype he was? Maybe the communication he did back home with folks, friends, etc. Let them know, tune in. Your boy out here today. First drive. I'm pretty sure the young man was nervous. It's redemption time. This is my time. Finally, I'm out here. Only to not do so well not be given another chance to seal the deal what coach prime does take that boy out of there now the optics would tell you that coach prime tripping but i think this capitulates to what i've been saying all along there's internal issues going on with cormani and Dion sanders and i think Dion is in the right of this stuff man if you pay attention to the post Cormani did a couple weeks ago, it was very telling. This is why I referenced that this will be Cormani's only year with Colorado. He seems like a good kid, so guess what? You're gonna see him do the right things, say the right stuff as much as he can, because at this point, huh, we'll see uh, what this week brings us because it's gonna be interesting. The man got pulled first drive, not first quarter, first drive of the game, got benched. You know people are gonna start making some noise and I don't think Cormani is that mature 
to keep himself disciplined to not respond to what happened. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I seen it. Coach Prime is a Heisman NFL cornerback. Dominated the college rankings. He knows what he's doing. It's something he didn't see. And I'm telling you, it's Cormani giving up the inside, allowing back-to-back -back big plays. You can tell there's been communication issues going on with what Coach Prime is teaching Cormani versus Cormani implementing it live during the game. There's a disconnect. And Coach Prime, you can tell he's watching Cormani repeat the same mistakes. Of course, propelling from practice. For Coach Prime to take Cormani out that quick, it's things he already seen in practice, which is the reason why he didn't want to put Cormani out there. Mind you, Cormani never been hurt. He just kept telling us, Prime, that is, the boy ain't ready. And you know what Coach Prime said? He ain't that good. I'm telling y'all, man, I feel bad for Cromani. There's no way you can look at that and not feel bad for the kid. But I know in my heart, that boy's out of there. And I'm telling you, it might be a good thing. It might be a good thing because I feel like Coach Prime doesn't mind losing a Cromani McLean despite the ensuing criticism that will be attached to this story. Watch when Cormani leaves. You're going to see all the folks come out there and say, damn, Prime couldn't make it work. I really think it's a Cormani thing, but it doesn't help that we as a world is being witnesses to this. That's added on pressure to a kid that always relied on his athleticism. I've seen it down here in Florida. Watch that man play countless times. Watch, go back and look at his tapes. Has great athleticism. Good experience in the game, but the skills weren't developed in terms of progressing and evolving. Because once again, Cormani continuously relied on his athleticism, y'all. I'm telling you. And it came back to hurt him as we're seeing. It's really a sad story. But we're not going to get out of here with just some sobering news like this. I got to go back to my boy Shador, man. Listen, y'all, Shador is that dude. Make no mistake about it. Shador Sanders is that dude. But per usual, the offensive line is ass. Shador damn near leads college in most sacked. Most hurries, most, most pressure. It's almost unfair to have a good quarterback like that to watch him on the ground that much. A lot of you folks told me when I had my recruiting video about Colorado being 71 rank 71 first rank sorry and second to dead last in pac 12 recruiting there was a gang load of folks that told me ah you stupid you silly coach prime ain't worried about high, uh recruiting high school players because y'all all putting your money on the transfer portal see the main thing about the transfer portal you don't understand while it does help a lot of teams out there's a reason why a player is trans transferring if he was that good in a good situation, he wouldn't be transferring. So guess what? All of the negative aspects that those players had that didn't work with the other teams, what made you guys think it was automatically going to be a success because they transferred to Colorado? And let's get this thing straight right here, right now. The last year's Colorado team, not coached by Prime, all them guys is out the door. They were hot garbage. Honestly, any basic team would have done better than 111. But just because Prime had 80 plus new players on the team, why did y'all think it was gonna be something so amazing of a transition? A lot of players transfer for a reason, guys. Maybe most of them couldn't cut it from the previous teams they were at. For whatever reason, all them transfers to me personally doesn't look like they warranted too much. I'm sorry. You're seeing this thing unravel right in front of us because unfortunately, you got to have, you know, greatness in Shador Sanders being wasted behind an awful line like that, a defensive line that can't put pressure on a pipe if it was worth their damn life. Defensive backs that can't tackle for it. Shiloh, by the way, we all seen that.
Tighten up, my boy. I actually like you. Tighten up, my boy. I don't want to get you stiff armed into the Underground Railroad like that, bro. I don't want to see that again. So get back up and try again, bro. I mean, guys, did y'all watch that game? The tackling was so abyss, man. Dion called them horrible, man. Look, I don't know what the, what else to say. Some of y'all think I'm haters, but it's starting to get rough watching Colorado because you really want the best for them. But the things we've seen, Cormani being benched on the first drive, it's not looking good. But clearly, Coach Prime can instill some resolve because these boys keep on holding on, man. But how long does that work? These last-minute wins against mediocre teams like a 1-4 in four Arizona State. Look, if you're still rocking with me, man, do me a favor to the new folks on here. Subscribe, like, and share, y'all. And to the returning folks, just keep coming back. I'm going to keep giving.